Hey, welcome back everyone. We made it. This is going to be the last module review for this AZ900 examination series. And I wish you all the very best for the examination and for your career success as well. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this AZ900 examination series. So without wasting any more time, let's go through the review questions. Which of the following provides a set of tools for monitoring, allocating, optimizing your Azure cost? So the key word here is you're looking at for a set of tools which can do monitoring, allocating, and optimizing your Azure cost. Is it total cost of ownership? Definitely not. TCO will give you estimate on the cost if you migrate from on-premises data center to Azure. Is it Azure pricing calculator? Definitely not because Azure pricing calculator will give you an estimate on your Azure services. So the correct answer is Azure cost management. Azure cost management is an Azure product that provides a set of tools for monitoring, allocating, and optimizing your Azure cost. Which of the following can be used to manage governance across multiple Azure subscriptions? So the key word over here is governance across your subscriptions. So is it Azure initiatives? Definitely not. Is it Azure Resource Group? No. Azure Resource Group is where you keep your resources and it's a logical container. So the correct answer is management group. Management groups facilitate the hierarchical ordering of your Azure resources into collections at a level of scope above subscriptions. Which of the following defines performance targets like uptime for an Azure product or service? So the key word here is performance target like uptime for Azure products and services. Is it usage meter? No, usage meter will give you a different types of price indication for different services. Is it support plans? No, support plans talks about different types of Azure support plans you can purchase from Microsoft. So the correct answer is service level agreements. Service level agreements or SLA defines performance target for an Azure product or service. Which of the following is a logical unit of Azure services that links to an Azure account? So your keyword over here is logical unit for Azure services that links to your Azure account. Is it resource group? No because resource group is again a logical container where you can keep your Azure resources. Is it management group? Definitely not. Management group facilitate the hierarchical ordering of Azure resources. So the correct answer is Azure subscription. Azure subscription is a logical unit of Azure services that links to an Azure account. Which Azure support plan is best for business critical workload? So you're looking at a support plan, which is best for business critical. So we have not discussed about it, but the best plan for business critical resources are Azure Professional Direct. So the right answer is Azure Professional Direct. Because Azure Professional Direct is the best way to ensure your solutions are running nearly all the time. So Microsoft have removed the support module from the new AZ900 exam course material. So I really doubt that you will get any questions on the support module. Question number six. And Azure Reservations offers discounted price if you, so how do you get Azure reservations? Is it by using spending limits? No, spending limits can be applied to get alerts or not to go over spending in your Azure subscription. 
provision a certain number of resources definitely not you can get azure reservation discount by paying in advance so azure reservations offer discounted price if you pay in advance to get a discount you reserve product and resources by paying in advance you can prepay for one or three years use for certain azure resources like a virtual machine compute and sql database instance etc which of the following give all azure customers a chance to test beta and other pre-release features is it general availability no general availability is when everyone get access to the services is it private preview no private preview is only for selected group of users as early adopters so the correct answer is public preview public preview means that azure feature is available for all azure customers for evaluation purposes so you have two services with different slas the composite sla is determined by so is it determined by adding the sla percentage together no is it by taking the lowest sla percentage definitely not so the correct answer is second option which is multiply the slas together so to determine a composite sla you multiply the individual slas together releasing a feature to all azure customers is called we just talked about it is it public preview no it's a preview feature for everyone to test it it's not a full blown version is it called general preview there is nothing called general preview in azure so the correct answer is general availability general availability or ga is a feature released to all azure customers which of the following can be used to estimate cost saving when migrating to azure so how do you estimate cost saving when migrating to azure is it by pricing calculator no because pricing calculator can give you estimate on the service is what you're going to put in azure is it usage meta definitely not usage meta can give you indication of the pricing values for each service so the correct answer is tco or total cost of ownership calculator so the tco calculator is a tool that you can use to estimate cost savings you can realize by migrating to azure your billing is based on your usage of azure services and is invoiced so the key word over here is when do you think your azure resources is being billed is it daily definitely not is it annually no azure is being billed monthly so you will be billed monthly that's the right answer Azure Advisor provide recommendations for what? Is it for cost only? Definitely not. Azure recommend Azure Advisor can give you recommendation much more than that. Is it for high availability, performance, and cost? No, it can do even more than that. So the correct answer is option two. Azure Advisor provide recommendation on many different capabilities, including high availability. security performance operational expenses and cost to use azure data centers that are made available with power cooling and networking capabilities independent from other data centers in the region choose a region that support what so the key word over here is you need all these capabilities independent from other data centers in the region So is it geographic distribution definitely not is it service level agreement doesn't even relate to this topic so the correct answer is availability zones availability zones are data centers set up to be an isolation boundary from others in the region with their own power cooling and networking if one zone in a region goes down 
the other availability zone in the region continue to work. The last question is application availability refers to what? Does it refer to the service level agreement of the associated resource? No. Does it refer to application support for an availability zone? Absolutely not. So the correct answer is the third option, which is the overall time that a system is functional and working. The time that a system is working is referred to as an application availability. So congratulations. You have made to the end of this AZ900 Azure Fundamentals examination series. You, are, you have gone through all four learning paths and you have completed all lessons, including the review questions as well. I wish you all the very best for your examination and all the very best for your continuous career success as well. I am signing off. My name is Sushant Sutish and I will see you on the next course. Till then, take care.